yeah hello guys um, i'm sorry for the other time the video crashed so i need to just save it that one so that i don't want to restart again so i will, I will up I'll be uploading that one at part one why this one will be the part two so let's continue from where we stop so i think what we stop here was to talk about giving it right pattern of 13 and 30 just to make it position like this and i think we give it a color we come to style here and once we come to this style we give it a typo, we come to I am the icon, we give it a color, we give it a color, a uh, normal color, which is primary color, and the country color is white. So, normal 3 to 004D. I will make it 15 space. You can make it as, you can make it 18 if you want it, if you want to make it 18, but just, I think, it's okay like this, yeah, I think it's okay like this. Let me just make it 18, 18. So, um, all we just need to do now is just to see. So I've done with this. We put in our phone number in this content here. We put it. Out, we write our phone number here. We make it start and circle. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do now is just duplicate this one in the two place. I'm gonna duplicate it one, and I will do it again the third time, the second time rather. Duplicate. Yeah. Don't worry about this, so I'm gonna rearrange them. So let's start from here. What's the next thing we need to put here now? Now the next thing is when we have our phone contact here, we can just decide to put in maybe like our email or um what should we even put here? So we can just come up. I think we we put in website here and email. So let us we let me share check what I put here. I think I put in phone number, email and website. Okay, phone number, email, and website. Let me copy this email. So I come here. Just click on this and come here and type envelope. You just pick this one and insert. Just put in the email here and come back to this place. And here will be globe. Just type for globe here because we want to put websites here. Globe. So the mix of this, you know, this is the symbol. So just come here and type in your the website name. I'm going to just type H, let me just HTTPS. Reading.com. Yeah. Now another thing I'm gonna do is that I'll, you know if you look at this thing here, the space is too close. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna I'm gonna come here and give it a bottom padding. Or let me just see. Maybe I should just give him top and margin. Let me just come here. I think the top is okay. Let me just give it a bottom padding of um bottom padding of um let me just say twenty. Twenty is too much. Let me just say fifteen. I'm gonna copy this. Copy. I'm gonna paste it here. Paste type. Just click on paste type to paste it in this circle. Let me let me show you what I mean. Come here again. Paste type. Can you see that I give it a normal space? If you like this thing is too big, you can just say okay, no problem. You can just reduce it. Let me see how it's gonna look like. I think it's okay, it's not that big, but we can make it just 10 10 instead of 15 15. I'm gonna click on this place and come to this place, make it 10. Yeah, I'll copy this. Copy now, paste style here. Paste style. Yeah, can you see now? I'm going to leave this one now because this is now another thing is that I will take away this 50 below 50 store that is there. If you look at this place, if you look at here now, when you scroll down, there's nothing here, right? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come here, I'm going to come to this column. 
this second column yeah second container rather come to style you see bottom 50 uh, so i'm going to come to this place and take away this second column here 50 here from here so if we scroll down can you see that the 50 here has been taken away so what i'm going to do now is that i can just decide to copy this style here copy and paste it here so that this time so at least there can be something at the bottom of it hope you are seeing what i'm doing now cool now the next thing is i'm going to bring another container i will bring it i will not bring it inside like this okay and i can bring it inside okay let me bring it inside first thing is that if you look at it you see that the edge is here to here but i want to take away all padding i can decide to come here okay this side should be different from this one now because here yeah, i didn't bring the i didn't bring this container inside i bring it outside but let's do it anyway there's no one way of doing something now there's part in here if you look at this white line this tiny line this time it's not from s to s so i'm going to come to this place and on link immediately i click on on link all padding can you see that all this thing join together now good of you then you can give it a background color of let me give it a background color of I'll see, let me give it a background color of uh, BE, a uh, normal color. I'll just give it BE, BE, BE. Oh, BE, BE, BE. Is it BE, BE, or D? Let me check the notepad. I've forgotten. <laughs> B, okay. Okay, this is it. So, I think this color is okay. Now what I'm going to bring inside this place now is media. Here, yeah, yeah, media. I'm going to come to here and I'm going to search for media. Now, media carousel. Now just drag this media carousel to this place. Now before this media carousel, I would like to give it a top and margin, but top and margin of 20%, 2020. Oh, let me give it to the media. Let me give it to the media straight. I'll come to setting here. And I'll give them. I will link it. And I'll give it top of 20. Bottom of 20. Okay. Is bottom not too much? Um, I can make bottom to become 10. is okay like this so what i'm going to do here now is i'm going to come here and i'm going to just upload some pictures images so i think i have a, a, a some client screenshot i have here i'll just let me just see that i can see them let me delete this so um delete this Let me see how I can get there. Let me drag this one first and see maybe it's a client picture. Okay, this one. <coughs> Let me pause the video and upload all the picture. Now this is all the images. I'm gonna start with this. I'm gonna click on select and open. <coughs> so this is it. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna come here again. Click on the image. Uh, I want to click on this. Select and open. I want to close this. Click on this. Click on this also. And let me just pick this. And I want to close this. Click on this in the four. And if you have the image of the work of the client, maybe the image of the website, the video of the website, you can put them here. But there'll be a space for video. For no time. So I'm going to click on this to make it five now. Now, if you look at this, because the reason why is that my images 
a little bit of the size is not that big but if you're using a bigger size then you need to come and do something you need to come to this place container just click on this container and come to layout and come to this place no this additional setting additional option and click on overflow click on eden eden in case your image is showing outside here and outside here yeah like i am my my boss video my boss my boss is a bigger picture you know i used to say my boss because i learned from my boss outside he is a bigger picture so the picture was shown outside of this boss so you need to use overflow but i've resized my own that's why i don't i don't worry about that i've resized my own in a better way so now i'm going to come to this place now and do some few settings okay you can play around the okay, you know you want it to be fit I say okay, you want it to be fit and it should be fit if that is what you want. So can you see like that? For me, I don't really like the fit. I say you want it to be cool. But to me, I'm not sure I like that. Oh wow, wow. It's like I like this kind of I like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Will I say I go like this one? <laughs> Well, I think I kind of like this. I, I think I kind of like this. Seriously, I like that. So I'm just going to work on it. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I never know something like this deal. Mama. So, additional option. Nothing. Nothing. I think it's okay. I'm going to come to style. Space between nothing. I don't want space, I don't want background. Padding, should I put padding? Let me see, maybe I should put 10. I don't need padding. I think it's okay like this. I had this is why I need issued. I want this navigation color to be the website color. Who is calling me like this? Now I want to give this color um, our color our background color. Our normal color the reason is because there are some space that this thing is showing white and if we leave it like this for example now let's wait and see if we leave it like this this thing might not be able to show so i think if we can just change it from this to uh, let me just let me just change it to uh, 32 d can you see this place that is showing white now can you see now the scene is not coming up very well so i think we can just leave the arrow the arrow oh sorry 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 where is the arrow this is the arrow where is the color this is where, this is where i want to change that will be three two seven seven four two exactly can you see now that this thing came on come on very well like this so i think we can make it your we can have this kind of confidence in this now so um okay let's say i go shop since it's even automatic, I would even prefer if there is an overlay color. Okay. Oh, let's even make it white. Let's make it white. Let's make it white. So I think majorly that is what I will be doing in this place. Nothing, nothing, nothing again. Yeah. I think I'm done with this place. Now the next thing is uh, where's the next thing? Let me check here. I think the next thing now is to do a, a, a footer section. So I'm gonna be creating a footer section that look like this here. Yeah. Can you see it? Can you see it like this? Okay. So I'm gonna come here again, bring in another container again inside this container. Hmm. Don't forget our method, our Easter method. Make sure you take away all the padding and all the. Make sure you take away, link this, and padding, link this. Eh, hey, hey, that is when it becomes green. So give it our own different color. Come here and give it a new color. Back, background color. I'm going to change the color to our normal general color, which is. I'm gonna clean this. 
I change the three to zero zero four three. Yeah. So it will look it will look more you know more cool like this. So I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna bring in social I'm gonna come here and search for social icon social like this. Just bring it and, and drop it there. Yeah. So I can just give it a padding, top and down padding. Let me just make it. Let me just give it top twenty, bottom twenty. Yeah. Okay. Let me come here. Now let me see what we have here. We have face um WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay. Let's do the same thing. So let's start with our WhatsApp. Hmm. Just come here. You can just click on all icon and come here and type WhatsApp. This is and insert. You can put in your link here. W slash. M E O slash Or you do it by using dynamic tag. I don't want to be passing that method. I'll come here again. Twitter. I'm gonna change Twitter to Facebook. All icon Facebook. Let's pick this and insert. I'm just gonna come here. Just come here, copy this my Facebook link here. I just copy link address and come here. Now paste it here. Now YouTube again. I'll just copy my YouTube account here. Copy link address. Come here and paste it here. I will take out duplicate this one and make this one Instagram. Instagram. Insert it. Copy my Instagram account link here. And come here and paste it here. I will paste it here. Yeah, I think we are good to go now. The remaining thing we need to do is just to come here. I want it to be circle. And I want it to be a tokuno. I will leave it like this. I'll come to style. I want it to be white. I want the I will be using the visual color, the custom color. The primary color should be white. But the secondary color should be our normal color. Delete this color with the hashtag 32004D. Hope you are seeing it. Yeah. You can reduce the space. I'll give it, I'm going to give it a space of spacing of 15. One, five. Mm, yeah, it's okay like this. I think it's okay like this. So, we have done with the Oh, website. So I'm going to save it. Don't forget, we still have one more thing. But before we do that one more thing, let's check how this my site look on the mobile. So let's check responses now. Let's check how it look like on the tablet. Okay. On the tip, let me just clean. Let me let me check this how it look like on the tablet. Oh, uh, this crew. I think I like this. I want to check something here. Okay. So, it's cool. On the tablet, is cool. Okay. Yeah. Let me see how it looks like on the mobile. I know definitely there will be a need for us to adjust. 
So let me just do the adjustment. Now on the mobile, if you look at here, it's still big, so I need to just push this down. Let me come to advance first. Do we have anything more? Then we need to push it down a little bit to like 25. Okay, I'm gonna give it 25. Yeah. And if you look at it, it's still it's showing all over the picture. So I'm gonna come to advance and give it a top my padding of let just say uh, let me unlink them give it 20 or uh, give it 30 no let me make it 40 uh -huh. so I kind of like this now this one is too big I'm gonna redo this so I'm gonna come to style this one is 20, I'm going to reduce it to like 15. I think 14 is okay. Or 15. Let me see 16. Yeah, 16 is okay. I like the way this one look like. I like the way this one look like. I'm not happy with this. I'm going to readjust this. I hope you are seeing it. So come to style. Can you see it here? I'll make it to be like this. Yeah. So I'll just copy the same thing. Ctrl C, copy. And paste the same style here. Paste style. And paste the same style here also. Can you see it like this? Now we look at this place now. The GMA is going inside that stuff. So that means I need to reduce this. So I'll come to style, especially in the area of count icon. I'll make the icon to be 15 and mobile. Fifteen and this okay. And I think I will make the size also to be fifteen. Let me just reduce the size. Right, I'll click out of this and come to content. The reason why the majority of people that will check your site will be using what will be using mobile, so it's better you use your edit it on mobile. So I'll come to content typography 20 and we reduce this. So let's just say, let me just say, like, um, let me just say. Then your system is okay. I'll copy this, copy, and I'll paste style here. Can you see, despite the fact you see, have this kind of peaks issue there, the thing is not coming up very well. Okay, I'll come here. And come to icon, make the icon space 12 and make the size 13. Okay, and I will come to the same thing, I will do the same thing for the content and I will typography, I will reduce it to like 14. Let me just say 15. Let me say it looks like okay. I think 15 is not bad. So I'll copy this. Copy. I'll paste style. Paste style. Paste style. Exactly now. Can you see what I'm talking about now? So we're having a nice website. So I think this is too big. So come here. Let me just see icon size is too big a little bit. 20 is even okay. And no matter how it is okay. So I think our size is fully okay now.
Now, the only thing we want to do now is that we want to put in a what? A, what is it called? Um, Pop-up button. We want to put it here. So before we do that, we can't do that here. So let's go back to our home page. I think on the mobile, the site is, everything is okay. Fully okay. So you come to here. Um, here, let me pause this. Now, for you to be able to do the pop-up, you need to come to your back end of your website. Notice our front end now. We have left this one. We are coming to our back end now. So once you come to your back end, you come to um just come to your template. Can you see it here? And I want to show you from your dashboard. So you can see your dashboard. This is a dashboard, your back end dashboard. So scroll down to it where you see template. Once you see template, click on pop up. Can you see immediately you over on template? You see pop up. Can you see? Click on it. Sorry. So once you click on pop up, just wait for it to load. It will take you to a page. Let's wait for it to load. Now it will take you to this place. Can you see? Once you click on this template pop up, you take it to this place. So just click on add new pop up. Just click on it. So once you click on add new pop up, Jai, what is the name of this pop up? I just come here and say contact share. Abby. Yeah, I can just say contact share pop up. That's what you want to create. So you click on create template. So just let's wait for it to load. Now, when you get to this place, it will, it, will, it will load some pop up you can use for you. But I don't think we need all this. We don't really need all this pop up for everything. So just cancel them. Though they are pro version, uh, we have pro elementor, we can use them. But believe me, I don't need them. I'm going to close them. Yeah, I'm going to start from scratch. So just drag in your container here. Yeah? You can drag up. Just pick. So once you pick, number one thing, let's look at this pop-up. How does it work? If we click on this, I have a white background. So let's just use this as an example. You come here, come to our, let me drag this one to this place now. So I'm going to add this. Let me just come here. Since we have white background already, I'm going to add this. Let's add it to it. I want to give it this test. I'm going to give it share contacts. Let me just come here and copy this. Come here, paste. So I'm going to come here. Firstly, come back here, center it. Come back here. Give it our normal color. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to write our own color. That will be hashtag 32004D. So I want to give it, make it more select. I want to give it a 40 size. Okay, sorry. Not select. I want to make it 40. Sorry. 40. I want to give it 700 volt. I want to, you know. Yeah, leave it like this. I'm going to come to party. I'm going to give it 50 all around. Yeah. So, I'm going to drag what is the next thing here. The next thing is social icon. Can you see the social icon? Or social share. Anyhow you call it. So, I'm going to come here and fight for social share. Social share. Share button. Just drag this. This is how we allow people to share your stuff. So firstly, I don't want it to be icon and text. I want it to be icon, you know. Leave there. Yeah, it is icon, you know. Cool. I want it to be circle. I want it the element to be on center gradient. Let me see frame. I'll prefer the gradient. 
Okay. So I'll come here. So let me come back to this place. Current page. Let me see. Ah, is it? I'll come to this. So if you, if you just leave, you don't need to put anything here. So you don't need to do anything here. So I'll come here. Colon gap. You can just say, okay, it's okay. Let me just change this to like 15 or 20. Oh, no gap is okay. Button size is okay like that. Icon size is also okay like that. I don't have any color is where I have an issue with it. Yeah, this is the color. And I'm going to pick it. Let me see the color I'm using it. How many color will be white? Second color will be our normal color. TV2004D. Yeah, I'm gonna like this. Come on, man. Like this. You can make it to come down a little bit if you like. Like it <laughs> so we are done so it should be one more thing now you to make qr code if you look at here you see qr code here this qr code let's go design our own so i'm going to come here i'm going to touch for qr qr is it qr code monkey yeah let's click on this qr code monkey so these are valuable content that you might not be able to get on YouTube, and but you know we are here to provide you best content that you can use to do something. So just click on it. It's a free tool where you can help you to generate your QR code, or you can make money from it. You can help people to do their QR code and make money from it. So just click on it. So it's very, 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 very simple. I am telling you, very, very simple. So let's wait for it to load. So click on it. So when you click on it, it's going to take you to this place. So what we want to do is just to generate our own QR code. Now, to generate your QR code, I mean, when they scan your QR code, where do you want to redirect them to? So I'm going to come here. I'm going to come to this place. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, this place. I'm going to come to this place. This is the front end of my website. So I'll go to the home page of my website. Sorry, yeah, I want to copy this website link. Control C, copy it, and come back to here. So when you come back to here, delete this one here. Delete it and put your own here. So, do you want to edit it? If you statistic and editable, anyhow you want it. So I'm gonna set the color. Maybe if your color is black or anyhow, you can just. Put the background color. Me, I'll go to. I'll, 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 I'll change the background color to. Mm, let me change the background color to like this. Our hashtag theory two zero zero four D. Oh, theory two zero zero four D. I think I like this for background and. You can even make it gradient. Anyhow you like it. Or could I just make it single? See, I will make it just and I will change this one to white. Let me just change this one to white straight. Let me just leave it like that. F F F F F F. Yeah, I think it's okay like this. So that it, I think it's okay. Like I don't want, I will just leave it by default. 
you can change this one to your normal column or let's just leave it like that by default you want to add your logo to it to make it customized i'm not sure maybe i have my logo here let me just search here i'm not sure so i'm just, I'm just gonna search for um, i don't want this video to be long let me just search for the leading See, I think I'm just gonna leave this logo on the channel because I have a lot of things to, to touch. This logo is not really it's a PNG logo, and I don't really like it. So that is why I want to search for another logo. See, I'm gonna close this. I can't wait for this now. I will. I will just leave it. No logo. I will leave it. I don't want logo. So custom design, do you want to have any custom design? If you want to have, you can click on this place. And if you don't want to have, you can just say no, it's okay. So hope you get it like this. So if you want to, maybe you have this different kind of style you want to use. But I think I'm going to use, I'm going to go with the default. What matter most is that it should perform the same thing we want him to perform. Since we have done it, just tell him to create a QR code. See, it automatically create the QR code for you. It's waiting, it's generating the code. So once we generate the code for V, you can now download it. Because of course, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, the stuff has actually generated it now. Can you see it now? You can increase the quality if you want. You can just click on download. Automatically, it will save to your store. Please do not refresh. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open this my file, my folder. So I know it will have been downloaded to this place. I hope you are getting all this thing. So I'm going to open it and see maybe this stuff has actually been downloaded. So the QR code has been downloaded to my mobile store. So I'm going to come back here. So once I come back here, I will just come here and drag a picture, an image. Can you see this image? I will drag it to this place, to the middle. So once I drag it to the middle, it's going to look like this. Don't worry. Just come here and select image. So I'm just going to drag this from here. I see QR code one. I will just drag it here. So once I drag it here, I expect it to load. It's loading. So once it's load finish, I will click on select. Select to wait for it to load. I'm sorry, my I think my laptop is somewhere. So I'm going to click on select. So just click on select. Ah, God, come and buy a new laptop for me. It's like this. <laughs> this laptop has overwork. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Let me... So, I'm sorry. It's like this. My laptop is <laughs> so sorry for that. So, I believe you all know what, what I did here. I click on this place and I pick this image. You see, when I upload it, I pick it up again and I click on select. So, if God is laying it in your heart to come and buy a laptop for me, please don't hesitate to I will collect it. <laughs> so, what we need to do is too big. This is not what we want. So, don't worry about that. Just come to here. Once you come to here, just come to the meat and give it 250. Yeah. 250. Um, this 250 is even too big to me. I just make it 150. 150. Yeah, you're gonna give it 250, but you see that it's not working because we're using percentage. By default, it comes with percentage. Please don't forget, change it from percentage to pieces. Can you see pieces is at the top? So once you change it to what is, let's wait for it. To, to, to work. 
yeah can you see now this is how 150 pcl look so just come here and change this to 250 yeah this is how we want it to look and i think it's okay like this so i can decided to give in a pattern if you like um up and down pattern i don't think there's a need for us to give anything pattern again so except that maybe probably if i want to give this one some pattern but i think it's okay to me it's okay like this so once we are done with this just make sure you click on publish so you just click on just no well, you just close let me save and close i just want to save it and close it so so once you're done here i think this is something i want to do here i don't like the way it's like i want to give it a style a little bit i'll come to setting when i come to setting i'll come to um I want it to come from um, how do I put it? What should I do here? Um, now, what I want to do now here is that I want to change this to button. Yeah, and I'll come to any track animation. I will just pick maybe zoom in or bouncing. Let me see bouncing. Mm, I don't like this bouncing. I just say. Flashing. Sorry, I'm just trying to see. Rotate, no, sliding down. And let me see. Slide out, down. Slide out, down. So I'll click on update like that. So it's gonna slide in down from the down and it's gonna slide out from the down. Okay. I think if everything works together, save and close. So this is how we want it to look like now. Um yeah, I think it's okay like this. So I'm gonna come out of here and I'm going to exist out of here. Exist to dashboard um, to what to WP dashboard apply. So I'll come back to this place. Yeah, I leave. You know what we leave? I'll save it. I hope the work saves yeah. So I'll come back to this place now. This is the last thing I want to touch now. So, one thing I want to do here is that I will refresh here. So that the thing we want to do here, we are about to finish this video. All I want to do in this place now is to just to add, if you look at this place, um, let me show you something here. If you look at this place, yeah, let me close it. See that there's, a, there's this, if you look at there's this something and this is the only thing I want to add to the video here now. That is why. Well, let me pause the video and go and put on the J. So guys, what we're gonna do now is since we are here now, don't forget that what we I told you we want to add to this place is just this circle. So we're gonna come back to our site here. We're gonna click on this place and search for icon. Just click on here. Ah, okay, what is happening to my laptop now? So, yeah, you click on this place and come here and to search for icon. So, once you search for your icon button here, yeah, once you search for this icon button, God will try help you with this laptop. <laughs> Just drag it to this place at the top of here. Yeah, just drop it there. Okay, I think that's drop here. I'm not seeing anything. Let me check because maybe it is there. Yeah, I need to refresh this side now. So, 
I refresh everything. Now don't forget, I told you that the first thing I want us to come and look for here is to come here and search for icon. And this is the one we want. We just pick this one and drag it at the top of this image. So you see like that. <laughs> so once you're gonna just click on this icon and come here and click on um, search share rather share type share so you, you can use this one or this one or this one so i can either use this or this but let me go for this mm, let me go for this i will insert share you see like this so you come to this view put it to frame so once you put it to frame don't worry about yourself now come to this place style and come and change the color make this um, primary color make it white yeah make it white i think second color will not have anything just leave it as white the size i think the size can just be 40 or let's make the size 20 yeah let's make the size 20 right cool come to advance and come to just scroll down you see where you see this position Share this position just click in and put it to absolute can you see it now this absolute you pick let me see. this absolute you pick where do you want it to be I don't want it to be here. I want it to be here. So you're gonna change it to this place. Come to this place and click here. Change it like that. Now come to this place and give offset. What do you want to give it? Give it 40. 40 offset. Change it like that. What about vertical orientation? What? How many offset do you want to give it? You give it 40 also. 40. Uh -huh. So can you see now? Yes, we are we are moving forward. You will now come back to this place again. Let's come back to our content again. Now come to this link. Can you see the link? Because this thing will not work at all. So you come to this link. So click on this dynamic tag. Can you see? Click on the dynamic tag. So come to action. Under action, you see pop up, Abby. Click on it. Which pop-up do you want to use? Click on this place. It will show you to search for the pop-up you want. Just come here. Will you actually is open a pop-up? You want it to open a pop-up, right? Yeah. Uh, which pop-up do you want? You come here and type the name of the pop-up. Contact. Can you see? You have, you have bring the name. Contact here. Click it. Once you click it, click on update. Once you update it, now let's come to this our front end website and let's refresh. Let's wait for it to do so that we can refresh. Now, if you click this place now, okay, wow. I think I also like this one. Do I want it to come from down, but it's coming from up? Can you see? Okay, wow. Let me see. Can you see? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, nice one. Oh, that's cool. Now guys, can you see, this is how to build our website. Our website, can you see how to build it? Yeah, I think we have really done a very good job. A very, very, very good job. A very good and awesome job. So guys, so come on, someone can just come to your website and see this. And you can share it on Facebook, share it on Twitter, share it on, on LinkedIn. You can do a lot of things. I think I really love this site. I really, really love it. So, guys, this is how to build this site. Don't forget, for you to be able to build it, you need what we call, you need, you need Elementor Pro and element, a normal Elementor. And if you need the Elementor Pro, you can feel free to reach out to me. And if you don't want to pass through all these threads, you don't want to pass through all these threads at all, at all, you just need the template like that. You can reach out to me and get the template for affordable price. Just come to my DM. Let's talk about the price. Very cheap price. I'll be giving you for just very discount price. So feel free to reach out to me. Thank you for staying to the end of this video. I really appreciate you guys. 
I really, really like you guys. Seriously, I really appreciate you guys. And I pray that the logo government is going to be with you. Now, another thing is that some people might not like this thing. You can just put their logo. Maybe the logo of the company you have worked